Hey Red Hawks, I'm Diane Hoskins. And I'm Christy Bravo. Welcome back to this week's edition of SCTV's Hawk, Hawk Talk. Talk. <laughs> Today, America celebrates Veterans Day. SCTV Sarah Henry sat down with one of America's Army heroes, her dad, Army veteran James Henry. The importance of Veterans Day is a day that we should reflect and remember those men and women currently serving in the United States as well as those that are serving overseas. It is important that we always remember our freedom is not free. For me, my military experience actually began even before I graduated high school. Uh, when I turned 18, the day that I turned 18, I actually signed paperwork at a military center so that after graduation, uh, I would go straight into the military, uh, join basic training in September of 1990. And uh, if you would remember uh, during that time, that was the pre-war to what we know now as the, the first Gulf War. So the military experience for me, again, was just uh, an, early, um, an early part of my life and uh, took basic training during that pre-war uh, of the first Gulf War. And then after basic training was over, I received my orders to uh, fly over to Germany and join a military unit uh, that was based just to the southeast of Frankfurt, Germany. Uh, I was there in Germany for about 18 months, uh, and during that time, uh, we had a drawdown of the overseas military, particularly in Germany, and uh, got to come back to the United States uh, a little bit early. Being a veteran and having spent the last 30 years or so as a veteran, I feel that, that uh, the military, my military experience uh, has enabled me to uh, be a better leader, be a better teammate uh, for my work life, uh, not only being a part of a team, but showing those leadership qualities. And when things don't go well, it's okay. It's okay to to figure out why it didn't go well and what uh, I can do or uh, what we can do as a team if it is a team or oriented exercise to, to make sure that, uh, that things get done. Uh, also, uh, military experience also has helped me to uh, be a better dad, be a better husband, and be a better friend for those around me. Thank you, Sarah and Mr. Henry, for your service. And to all veterans around the world, we thank you for your dedication to keeping our nation safe. And now, for a beak break. Don't be manic, let's save the planet. At the current rate of pollution, scientists predict that humans will go extinct due to climate change, disease, nuclear war, and other humanitarian issues, if you know what I mean. Now, we can control one of these things, which is climate change. Here are some ways that you can do your part to help our planet. One of these are using a reusable water bottle. One of the simplest ways to make a difference is to swap your plastic water bottle for a reusable one. Not only will you help to conserve water, you will also help eliminate the number of plastic bottles that's found in landfills. Switch to electricity. Electricity does not emit gases that are harmful to our planet, unlike motors that run on gas. Electricity does not release CO2. For example, cars, and some lawnmowers. The amount of harmful pollution is emitted in the world is increasing at an unsustainable rate and is causing irreparable damages. Natural energy. Electricity fuels our air conditioners, lamps, and appliances, all household commodities that are pretty nice to have around. Crank up that AC is tempting when the heat's rising. A great way to save energy and money is to opt for a fan instead or try to limit use during the hottest parts of the day. Another great way to conserve energy is to use natural sunlight instead of interior lights and to let sun dry your clothes instead of putting them in the dryer. 
Collect the rain. Rain barrels are a fantastic rainwater collector that can then be used to water your garden during times of drought. Compost. Instead of throwing away food scraps, make a compost bin that will break this trash down into usable fertilizer. Whether you live in an apartment or have a large yard, you can make fertilizer in any space for your plants and garden. Eco-friendly brand. You should buy your food, clothes, and other necessities from an eco-friendly company because they recycle and reuse materials and they leave a small carbon footprint. Some example companies are 7th Generation, a cleaning product company, Dr. Bronner's sells body care products, Allbirds, a shoe company, and Avocado Green Mattress, a mattress company. To know if a brand is eco-friendly, check their website or the label of the product itself for a green certification. Make sure to do research on a brand that you might try to invest in. I know that trying to help our planet is not just on one person, but if we all work together to make a change and we stand up for what we believe in, then we can make a difference. You can make a difference starting today. SCTV's Taylor Turner recently had a chat with one of her favorite people, Lady Red Hawk basketball superstar Taylor Turner. Um, I know this is my first time showing my face who records the athletes, but this is who I am, reporter Turner. And today I'm be recording Taylor Turner. She's one of the formal uh, basketball players. She's a senior, I think. I think that's what she is. She's gonna end up introducing herself, but she plays basketball on Sturge Creek, and I'm gonna be interviewing her today. Hi, I'm Taylor Turner. I'm a senior for the Lady Red Hawks, and I'm a point slash shooting guard. Alrighty, so, before I get into asking the questions to Taylor, if y'all are wondering about the fit, this is what it is. Oh, y'all can't even see my shoes, but let me show y'all one more time. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! So, yeah. I heard that Taylor really loves shoes, so maybe before our video gets on, she'll probably talk about my shoes. I don't know. But yeah, that's the fit y'all was wondering. Now let's get into the questions. How do you feel about the scrimmage coming up this Tuesday? How do I feel about the scrimmage coming up this Tuesday? Not gonna lie, I'm very excited, you know, because like, this is gonna be my last, you know, first scrimmage ever in high school. And this is like, you know, coming coming in as a freshman and then playing and then now, or sitting, you know, sitting a bitch and then coming in playing and then now starting. And then this is my last time, actually. My last first time touching the floor. I just think it's kind of crazy because it went by kind of fast. But um, yeah, pretty excited about it. And then if y'all wanna come out and support, Y'all can, it's at Fayetteville. It's like, I think it's like an hour away. But if y'all still wanna come out and support us, y'all come out and support us, it's gonna be a good game. What are your goals this year? Uh, my goals, I would probably say, you know, winning our district, winning our region, definitely hitting up a thousand points and getting a ring. And then team goals for sure are, you know, definitely communication. Because we kind of didn't have that last year. So us having it this year, I feel like it will probably bring us pretty far. What are you most excited for this year? What am I most excited for this year? Not going to lie. I'm actually excited to play Blackman this year. Because I want my smoke back with them. We ended up losing against them, I think, about four. And ever since that loss, it just, it just, it just hurts. So that's what I'm most excited for. Whenever we make it to state, and play against the black men. That's 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 what I'm waiting for. Cause I want my run back. What is your go-to before the game starts? My go-to before the game, I'll probably say having music in and just like jumping on the ball and shooting it. Because once I do that, that puts me in the mode to get ready. So yeah, either listening to music or listening to music and dribbling or shooting or listen to the music. Thanks, Taylors. 
Pop culture is where Dylan tells you about what is happening in music and movies. Here is this week's edition of Hawk Culture. My name is Dylan and welcome to Hawk Culture. The movie for this week is Weird the Al Yankovic Story. The movie is about the life of musician and comedy mastermind Al Yankovic. It stars Daniel Radcliffe, Rain Wilson, and Lynn manuel Miranda. It was released exclusively to Roku on Friday, November 4th. Starting in the U.S., the top song is Antihero by Taylor Swift. In Mexico, the top song is No Se Va En Vivo by Grupo Frontera. Lavender Haze is the top song in the U.S. In Vietnam, the top song is The Astronaut by Jin. And the last song for this week is Extra Cool by Young John in Nigeria. Thank you for watching this week's Hot Culture. I'll see you next time. Thanks Dylan for that report, but can we get some country music in this segment? Keeping with the music theme, here's this week's music video with Sid. She's blood, flesh and bone, now tucks a silicone. She's touch, smell, sight, taste and sound. But somehow I can't believe that anything should happen. I know where I belong and nothing's gonna happen. Taylor's back, well, because she loves being on camera. This week she sat down with one of our newest teachers and who is no stranger to the Greek senior English teacher and yearbook advisor, Kit Bellenfont. Hi, I'm Kit Bellenfont. What made you start teaching? Well, when my kids started school, um, I was a stay-at-home mom and thought I would like to get in with what they're doing, so I started subbing. Um, I had a degree and so decided that I could make more money with teaching. And so I went back to school, um, got my job embedded license, then got my teaching license, and then it all just fell into place. Have you ever thought about majoring in something other than teaching? So before I became a teacher, this is my second career, so this is the, the thing that I'm doing after I did something else. So before I did this, I was a DJ at a radio station for 13 years, and so that was fun. So this is kind of my second gig, um, so yeah, uh, this is what I'm going to do until I'm done, so, so that's it. What do you teach and what made you pick it? So I teach English and I also um, am the yearbook advisor. And so um, teach English for four classes, have yearbook for two classes. And so that degree that I have, English and Journalism um, from Tennessee Tech, uh, comes in handy with that, so yeah. Thanks Ms. Bellenfont, ready to be shocked? Here's Christy with Red Hawk Shock. I'm Christy Bravo and this is Red Hawk Shock. Lichtenstein, or Lichtenstein, has only one jail, and it holds about 20 people. If a sentence exceeds over two years, they are sent to a jail in Austria or Switzerland. A new baby, on average, will deprive its parents around two and a half weeks of sleep in their first year. Kit Kat uses imperfect Kit Kats as a filling between the two wafers. In the United States, there are 34,000 gyms. That means there are twice as many gyms as there are McDonald's. Only about 25% of people can swallow their spit three times in a row. Thank you for watching Red Hawk Shock, where I give you some interesting facts. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this week's show. Again, thank you to all our veterans. Have a great weekend, Red Hawks. For more SCTV programs, check out our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time on SCTV's Hawk Talk. Talk.